My name is Eric Horstick. I'm an assistant professor at West Virginia University in the Department of Biology, and I am a neurobiologist. So a neurobiologist, we're interested in understanding the brain and how the brain works. And I think neuroscience is a really exciting area because in my opinion, kind of really represents one of the great frontiers. You know, people will think, well, the great frontiers of research or of knowledge is space or the deep ocean. But I think there's something much closer to home in the realm of neuroscience, the goal of studying the brain. If we take our brain, for example, it is built of 90 billion neurons forming approximately 700 trillion connections. And these are the challenges that neuroscience faces is to solve the workings, the mechanisms driving this vastly complicated device. Our research in my lab, we use zebrafish as a model system. The stage that we do most of our work with, the larval zebrafish, adds a few really key advantages. One, they have a brain that is surprisingly very comparable to ours. We can go in and find the same neural structures that are found in the human brain. They are also optically clear. So what that gives us the ability to do is then use infrastructure like the super resolution imaging to actually peer into the brain, to pop the hood as it were, and look in at what's happening, but in whole intact animals. The NIFTY, the National Science Foundation, has been a kind of driving effort to expand neuroscience research across the state. It is a grant that spans multiple institutions, including WVU, West Virginia State, Shepherd, and Marshall University. And it is targeted at building both infrastructure to allow our research to kind of take the next step and also to grow the already strong basis in neuroscience research happening across the state, particularly in areas of neuroplasticity, which is the ability of the brain to kind of change and adapt these large multi-institutional collaborative grants that are really you know, game changers. They have the ability of adding resources that otherwise are incredibly challenging to get to build infrastructure that allows the scientists to start asking questions that were impossible before and to start opening doors of research. And as we kind of make these steps to understand how the brain and its billions of components and its trillions of connections work, we are moving ever closer to understanding at one level, just how we as organisms operate and respond to the world that we live in, and two, how we can tackle and make headway against a wide range of dehabilitating or devastating diseases. And I think, you know, for the people that are really inspired by that, there is really nothing else. There's no other career that can kind of really put that in your hands the way science does.